welcome, one and all, to The Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. Folks, this week... This week, those of you who watch the news, this week in Washington, D.C., the thinkable happened. <laughs> Republicans are trying to repeal and replace Obamacare again. This is beyond beating a dead horse. This is getting damn close to bestiality, okay? <laughs> I hope that horse has a safe word. <laughs> Pumpkin patch is what I recommend. <laughs> you might remember. Back in July, Republicans tried a plan called the Better Care Reconciliation Act. It would have cut Medicaid, increased premiums, and left millions uninsured, whereas this new bill has a different name. <laughs> this one's called the Graham-Cassidy Bill, and South Dakota Senator John Hewn paid one of its authors the ultimate compliment, saying, I just told Bill Cassidy he's kind of the grave robber. This thing was six feet under, and I think he's revived it. Actually, this is interesting, grave robbing is a big part of the new plan, you know? <laughs> get, get yourself a new hip or some dentures or something like that. It offers complete shovel coverage. <laughs> but the GOP needs to move fast because due to Senate rules that I refuse to learn, they're facing a September 30th deadline. It's a race against the clock. They've got 10 days to overhaul the health care system or everybody lives. <laughs> In fact, we all thank you. Live. Thank you. I'm ready to live. Thank you. I'm ready. So, thank you. <laughs> we're all gonna die. In fact, <laughs> this is being done in such a rush that the Congressional Budget Office won't estimate the full effects of Obamacare repeal until after the vote deadline. Well, that there is just good health care. Like, when you go to the doctor's office and he says, Mr. Smith, we won't have your test results for a week, but in the meantime, just start munching on that bowl of pills over there. <laughs> now, it's a complex bill that reworks, I believe, one-sixth, one-sixth of the U.S., the world's largest economy. So before the votes, naturally, Republicans have set aside 90 seconds of debate. <laughs> in other words, they're going to repeal Obamacare in roughly the amount of time it takes to microwave a burrito. <laughs> Both will kill you. <laughs> now, there's a little wrinkle to getting this done uh, toot sweet, and that's that included in the 10 days that are left to vote are three Jewish holy days, which the Senate has off. But that does not bother Senator Lindsey Graham, who said, I want to honor every religion's holiday, but then added, Harry Reid had a vote on Obamacare on Christmas Eve. That doesn't even make sense, because Christmas is the sacred story of how a woman gave birth in a barn with no health care, and it was fine. <laughs> Worked out great. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Now, here's how the plan works. The plan takes the money from Obamacare's Medicaid expansion that 31 states opted into about five years ago or something, and turns that pool into a, uh, a new pool of money that gets redivided into block grants to all the states, whether they opted in five years ago or not. So that means states like my home state of New York loses a lot of money, while my home state of South Carolina would get a lot of money. Mm. So half of me is totally on board with this. <laughs> The bill's sponsor, Lindsey Graham, explained it this way. I like Massachusetts, I like Maryland, I like New York, I like California, but I don't like them that much to give them a bunch of money that the rest of us won't get. Plus, you know they're just gonna spend it on NPR lattes and gay cakes. <laughs> and oh, the cake is gay, right? Oh. Right, something like that. But not the gay. Right. For a gay wedding, the cake itself has to be gay. That's the complaint, isn't it? <laughs> All right. Well, here's the deal. You know who cares a lot about Obamacare? Obama. <laughs> Remember that guy? Remember Obama? Obama. Yeah. 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 Hey, hey. That's all. I love Obama. Nice guy. Yeah, it's a great guy. Love you guys. Really tall. What? He's really tall. Yeah, very tall. Yeah. Very tall. Yeah. That's what he's known for. He's so tall. And <laughs> here's what Obama said today. This is something I always had to emphasize to my staff uh, when I was president. Better is good. <laughs> no, you laugh, but sometimes people forget that. I will take better every time. 
So that's what's needed today. I miss you. But just uh, for my own self here, Jimmy, can we put that picture of him back up? Look how gray he's gotten now. That's how bad Donald Trump is. <laughs> Obama is aging faster watching someone else be president. <laughs> That's, he looked better. He looked better nine months ago. Remember to moisturize. And hey. Obama is somewhat passionate about this. When I see people trying to undo that hard-won progress for the 50th or 60th time <laughs> with bills that would raise costs or reduce coverage or roll back protections for older Americans or people with pre-existing conditions, it is aggravating. Sir, I know you're famously even-keeled, but Americans are more than aggravated. I'm pouring bourbon on my breakfast. <laughs> and my breakfast is scotch. <laughs> uh-huh. But Trump economic advisor Stephen Moore explained what's driving the latest Republican push to repeal Obamacare. People want insurance for their own families, not for other people's families. What a compassionate vision. <laughs> it's all summed up in his new line of greeting cards. Happy birthday, Grandma. If we weren't related, I'd leave you to die. <laughs> but based on a true story. Funny because it's true. Wow. But if you also want insurance that covers only your family, well, folks, there's a company ready to help. It was hard finding insurance that covered only my family. Luckily, Winnaker Insurance does just that. Winnaker Insurance. Insurance for just the Winnaker family of Canton, Ohio, and no one else. It's the only insurance plan built on the idea that I'm a Winnaker, and Winnakers deserve health care. Other people might, too, but I don't know. They're not my problem. And Winnegar Insurance is only $20 a month. Unless someone gets sick, then obviously it's like thousands of dollars. Could be millions. It'll probably be fine. With a risk pool of only three people and our dog, Champers, prices can get volatile. But I can't imagine being sick because I'm healthy now. And now isn't the future. It's now. I love now. Winnegar Insurance. Because only you matter. Everyone else is probably just a hologram. Right in the hall. Right, right in the hall. Right, 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 right somewhere. Somewhere. Guess me somewhere. <laughs>